Hello my dear friends, welcome to Knowledge India once again. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about EC2 bare metal instances. And we will also try to compare it with the dedicated host option. All of you would have seen this tenancy option called dedicated host. Many of the times people confuse it between the two. So what we'll try to do in this video is go into depth and understand how do these two differ and what are different properties and when should you use which one, right? So let us go ahead and get started. So what I've done here is I've tried to give a visual representation to you. On the left hand side, where I've written virtualized offering. So this is how EC2 instances used to be normally, right? Of course, within this, you can have three different types of tenancy, which is shared or default, dedicated instances and dedicated host. I have done a video in detail about it, but I will just quickly talk about it once again so that we are up to the speed. In case of shared tenancy on a particular physical host, there can be EC2 instances from different customers, right? So this one might belong to customer one, this might belong to customer two and so on. That is your shared or default tenancy. On a physical host, of course, you will have resources like RAM, CPU, instance storage, which is optional. It would not be there with all the instance types, only with certain instance types, you get instance storage. That's why it is written as optional. And then there is a layer of hypervisor. The work of hypervisor is to just ensure that every EC2 instance gets the right amount of RAM and CPU access. And of course, instance storage as well, if it is applicable. So in case of shared tenancy, custom uh, EC2 instances from different customers can be there on the same physical host. In the dedicated instance, what happens? In case of dedicated instance on a particular physical host, instances from only one customer would be there. So which means if let's say this is a physical host 01, then here all the three EC2 instances or all the EC2 instances would belong to same customer. That's the important thing. Now, what about dedicated host? Dedicated host and dedicated instance are similar in one way that all the EC2 instances would belong to the same customer. But the difference is in case of dedicated instance, when you stop the instance and start again, the underlying hardware might change, right? But in case of dedicated host, that never happens. In case of dedicated host, the EC2 instance will create a relationship with the host and when you stop and start it, every time the EC2 instance will come up on the same physical host. That's the important thing. So the underlying host never changes for the EC2 instance. That is the dedicated host offering, right? So now that we are clear with this, let's understand what is bare metal. Bare metal is a completely different from the left hand side. Why so? Because in case of bare metal, we are not doing virtualization itself. Or let's say Amazon is not doing virtualization itself, right? In case of, on the left hand side, you saw that there is always this layer of hypervisor and the EC2 instances are running as VMs on this particular physical host. Whereas on the right hand side, the bare metal which you see, though of course, when you will go ahead and try to create it as an EC2 instance, but it is non-virtualized. So there is no hypervisor running. The operating system which you run as part of your server or as, or as part of your EC2 instance, the operating system which you run, it could be uh, RHEL or Amazon Linux or Windows even. The operating system which you run, that runs directly on the hardware, on the physical host. So your operating system will have exposure or access to complete hardware of that particular physical device. That's the important difference. Now, some of you might be thinking, so there is no hypervisor here. Yes, there is no hypervisor. When should we go ahead and use it? I'll just quickly talk to you about it. Is there any difference in the process of launching it? Uh, you know, if you want to launch an EC2 bare metal, whether it is different from how you launch on the left hand side, the answer is no. That's the good news as well. The way you are dealing with your virtual machines, right? The whole creation process is still the same. The only thing is on the right hand side, what happens when your EC2 instance is launched, it has access to the complete hardware of that physical host. That's the important thing to know. In terms of launching it, same dashboard, uh, same EC2 launch wizard. Only thing is in the step number two, you need to select 
a bare metal instance type right now there are you know many of the ec2 families have got bare metal offering and i will just quickly show you what are those and also the pricing about it but in terms of launch the whole process is same you need to just choose a a, a compatible ami of course i mean just the latest generation ami will be fine in the step number two where you choose the instance type there you need to choose the metal option which is for example m5 metal or m5 d dot metal like that and c series also you have uh, bare metal offering you select that and then all the other steps are all same you can go ahead and place it in your vpc you will uh, you can specify user data you can go ahead and attach how much ebs volume do you want right all of you know that ebs is always attached via network to your ec2 instances right uh, because it is not e it is not uh, existing or it is not located on the physical host itself right that's why when your instance is stopped and started uh, your vm can move from one physical host to another and still it gets connectivity to the ebs every time and you do not as a customer you do not get to see all of these changes that's the good part so you know as you are launching ec2 instance normally you'd be able to specify the ebs volume how much ebs storage you want to con uh, you want to attach to your bare metal instance and then go ahead and you know at, uh, apply security group and launch your instance all of that process is exactly same there is no difference and the way you connect to it via ssh or rdp all of that remains same the only important thing is that only the operating system is running there there is no um, hypervisor running there okay now if we go ahead and quickly see when should we use this this is an announcement recently when more uh, you know more number of uh, ec2 bare metal instances were launched five new amazon ec2 bare metal instances are available ec2 bare metal instances provide your applications with direct access to the intel xeon scalable processor and memory resources of the underlying server this is what we are talking in in the other case it is via hypervisor in this case it's not so directly your operating system gets access to that um, to all the underlying resources these instances are ideal for workloads that require access to the hardware feature set such as intel virtualization technology for applications that need to run in non virtualized environments for licensing or support requirements or for customers who wish to run their own hypervisor so there are two use cases given here if you have a software which needs to run directly uh, you know if your software needs to run directly on the hardware there should not be any virtualization layer in between that type of requirement you have then you can go for bare metal instances the second part is if you want to put your own hypervisor and then you want to manage your virtualization for example the vmware offering which amazon is giving basically you can run your whole vmware cloud on uh, aws right so in such cases vmware's hypervisor runs on the physical host so for that also the bare metal instances only get used they do not use amazon's hypervisor in that case so if you want to run your own hypervisor then bare metal is the answer for that we'll spend two minutes quickly to understand the pricing as well right so if you go to aws calculator and you try to launch uh, um, basically add an ec2 instance you can go here and select uh, if you go down let's go to m5 for example so you will see m5 2x large is there m5 metal is there in terms of specifications both of them have got 96 virtual cpu 384 gb ram right the cost wise also it is same now it's your it's your choice whether you want to have bare metal instance i mean size wise it is just the just the biggest one in the m5 series so if you want to go ahead and use m5 metal you can go ahead and use it this would be the pricing now see not only m5 metal there is also m5 d dot metal so i'll show you if i go down you will see here m5 d dot metal what is the difference between the first one and here here you have got instant storage as well so you get 900 gb four disks of 900 gb each as the instant storage that is additional and of course because of that there is a price difference as well in case of m5 d metal it is slightly higher than the m5 metal because in m5 metal you do not get any local disk or instant storage is not available 
right? So in, in the same way, you can go ahead and look at different families. Now there are a lot of bare metal offerings in different families. And if it makes sense for your organization to use, you can go ahead and use it. Now with this bare metal offering, what changed? Amazon now, you know, started offering you like the physical box. It gives you, it still gives you all the, you know, power of using the CLI and all the commands which are supported. You can use all the monitoring tools like CloudWatch, etc. on that. But then at the same time, now you have complete control that if you want to run your own hypervisor and you want to go ahead and manage further things up in the layer, you can go ahead and do it. One more important point related to the pricing of your bare metal offering and the dedicated host offering. In case of dedicated host, what happens is as soon as you want to launch an EC2 instance, before that you need to block the host, right? Now the physical host gets blocked for you or let's say gets allocated to you. And on that you may choose that, okay, Sometime you are running two EC2 instances, sometime you are running eight EC2 instances, but you always pay for the full physical host, right? Unless until you choose to deallocate or release that host, right? You will be paying for the full physical host. You cannot look at the concept of, let's say, stopping the EC2 instance on a particular uh, dedicated host and thinking that, you know, I will not be paying for it. It's not like that. From the time you block the dedicated host till the time you finally release it, you are paying for the full physical host all the time. Whereas in case of bare metal on the right hand side, you can go ahead and stop this. So if you stop the EC2 instance, which is launched in the bare metal mode, or if the EC2 instance type is bare metal, then what happens is your billing stops at that time. And after that, when you will, you know, when you when you try to start the EC2 instance again, see the underlying hardware might change at this time, right? Because please understand, in this case, you do not get to know the host ID. That is another very very important difference between the two. On the left hand side, when you launch EC2 instances in the dedicated host mode, you you get to know the host ID. Okay, because that per, on that particular host only your EC2 instances would be launched. Whereas on the right hand side, though when you are running your EC2, it is running on the full physical host. Uh, there is no virtualization layer in between, but the host is not always fixed. Maybe now I go ahead and launch an EC2 instance. I run it uh, for two hours. It is of the bare metal type. After that, I go ahead and stop it. Fine. So then that particular physical host where it was running, that particular host would be released and after that if i go ahead and launch again it might happen that it just goes and runs on any other physical box right so that is another important thing for us to know in case of bare metal you will be charged only for the time when you are running the ec2 instance okay so i hope you are clear with it so that's what is bare metal instance if you like this video go ahead like it and share it right and Look at our channel for sure for more such videos. If you have any comments or appreciation, you can write it in the comment section below. Subscribe to us and watch more such AWS videos. Take care guys. Bye-bye.